Welcome to Capstone Connect. This video was designed to help you understand how to share from Capstone Connect to Seesaw. While watching this video, have another window or device ready so you can follow along with me. To get started, we will create an activity in Seesaw. Then we will insert a Capstone interactive ebook link from Capstone Connect. In order to follow along with me, you will need to understand how to use Capstone Connect, which we have other videos created for you that will help you with this, and you'll need to know your Seesaw account information. To get started, let's head over to Seesaw. Now that you're at Seesaw, you need to log in. Once you're logged in as a teacher, you can go over to Add and Assign an Activity. Today, we are going to create an activity, so click on the Create New Activity button. Now my activity is ready for me to create. I'm going to call this activity Forces. Then, you can add additional student instructions. Now you're ready to add your Capstone Interactive eBook link. Navigate down to Add Multimedia Instructions or Example and choose the option to add a link. Now, navigate over to Capstone Connect. Now that I'm in Capstone Connect and I have already searched by my standards, subject area, and grade level, I found the standard I'm working with and it has returned to me a list of resources. I know that I want to use this Forces ebook from Capstone Interactive. So, I simply click on the link and the link is copied for me. Now I'll be able to send my students directly to this book without having them log in. If you'd like additional help understanding how to use Capstone Connect, please check out one of our other videos. Now I'll head back into Seesaw. Now I can easily right click and paste my link from the Capstone Interactive eBook into Seesaw. Then I'll click on the green check. If I'd like to add additional information for my students, I can record my voice or add a caption. And when I'm ready to move on, I click the green check. Now my activity has an activity name, instructions for my students, as well as a link to my Capstone Interactive eBook. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. My activity is ready for me to assign to my class. It will also stay in my library for me to use at a later date. I can click Assign and pick the class I'd like to share it with and assign it to my class. Now it's assigned to my students and they're able to do the activity. If I'd like to share it with other teachers, I can click the three dots and I can click Share Activity. Now I can get a link and share this Seesaw activity with other teachers on my team. Now they're able to add this Seesaw activity to their own Seesaw library. Now I'm going to test my Seesaw activity to make sure it's ready for my students. I'm using Google Chrome and the incognito window so that I don't have to sign out of my Seesaw account from my regular Chrome window. If you'd like to learn more about incognito windows, check out our other resources. Now that I'm at the Seesaw login page, I'm going to pick I'm a student and I'm going to sign in as a student. Now I'm signed in to Seesaw as a student in my class. I want to make sure my activity is ready for my students. I'll click on Activities. Now as a student, I'm going to look at the directions, and the first direction is to click on the link to read about forces. I'll click on the link, and it brought me directly to the Capstone Interactive eBook about forces, and as a student, I didn't even have to log in. When I'm done reading, I can click on the X and go back to Seesaw to complete my work. There is so much more I'd love to show you. Visit our website to access more resources and step-by-step -step directions for you to help your students. Have fun learning!